Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about special passage names within Sugarcube 2.28. There are multiple special passage names within Sugarcube, a great many of them in fact, all of which give the author access to different functionality, headers, footers, as well as different events that happen within the rendering cycle of Sugarcube. In this video, I'm going to highlight three of them that are important and pretty commonly used. The first of which is a story init passage. It is run before anything else is run, and it allows us to initialize things for the story. If we want to set up variables, set up values, maybe do some initial calculations or statistics management, we can do that within a story init passage. And it allows us to set everything up, and then we move to whatever the starting passage is. The two others I'm going to mention here are the passage header and passage footer passages. These are run before the current passage and after the current passage. So we actually see the example of all of these in action right here. We see this is the header, then we see the values are 12 and 13, and then we see this is the footer. And in fact, I'm using all three of those special passage names I've just mentioned here. Let's go look at the code. So we see here, I've actually set these up in the order that they run from left to right. We see the story init passage where initial values are being set. Then we see passage header. Then we see the starting passage and then we see passage footer. And this is the order in which they are rendered. So we see passage header, it will be run first before the current passage, whatever the current passage is, and then passage footer at the end. Coming to the story init, we see I've set up two initial variables, story variables in fact, and we know because they start with a dollar sign. So within story init passage, I've set up two variables. And then moving over the passage header, we see this is the header, exactly what we expected to see. Then moving over to the starting passage, we actually see two extra spaces at the beginning and the end of this content. The reason why I did this is important. Passage header will be rendered directly into the passage. The same with passage footer. If Because I didn't want everything to run together, I put some extra spaces in between these. And that's important to remember. All of these will be rendered exactly as they appear. So the starting passage here has its extra spaces because passage header goes immediately in front of it and passage footer goes immediately behind it. So those extra spaces give it a little more aesthetic spacing. So you'll be able to read what they are. Notice here we can immediately use these variables in the starting passage. This would normally be very unusual, but because we use the story init special passage name and set up a passage with that name, we can initialize story variables before they show up in the starting passage, something very important when writing complex code within Sugarcube. So in this video, I've covered three of the several many different special passage names within Sugarcube, and it's worth looking at the documentation to consider what you might do within your own code and as an author working on your own works. But the three of them I've covered in this video are story init, allowing us to set up variables and things before the story moves to the starting passage, passage header, which is the header of any passage and will be prepended, and passage footer, which is the footer of passages and will be appended. And we can use both passage header and passage footer to add text or other content or run other code either at the beginning of a passage before that current passage will be shown or after a passage maybe to do some final statistics calculations or save some values as well. But again, this video covers story init, passage header, and passage footer, three of the more common special passage names within Sugarcube. But again, consult the documentation to see the additional special passage names and how they might be helpful for you for your own work. Thanks for watching.